The galaxy was no longer a safe place. There were so many fires for Starfleet to put out that it felt almost too much for even the Federation. It was like every power that could threaten stability decided to strike in a small amount of time next to each other. A strong force for instability, the Borg, had started to become more and more of a threat to the Alpha and Beta Quadrant powers. Nothing signified this more than when the USS Legend was contacted by Admiral Jarrell Quinn, the Borg had finally made a major strike into the Beta Quadrant itself. The Klingon Defense Force and Starfleet, whom were still at each other's throats, declared a temporary ceasefire and had begun joint operations to combat this threat. The Romulan Republic, a splinter group of the Romulan Star Empire, had advised of a location the Tal Shiar might be attempting these experiments, and thus why Borg incursions were increasing. The USS Legend was to return to Space Dock and talk with the Romulan Republic Ambassador to determine more information and how to find the Tal Shiar ship. All right, Ambassador, I have traveled for hours, if not days, to get here and get all of the information I could from you. So what do you have to tell me when it comes to the Tal Shiar? Their location, what we have to do, what, what's going on? Give me the skizzy. So nothing. Literally nothing. I just traveled and took days I'll never get back for what we could have done over communications. And really, you don't have any reason to talk to me. I mean, this was a waste of my time, you pointy-eared son of a bitch. After being reprimanded and causing a galactic incident, the captain of the legend would talk to Admiral Quinn again and make for the Borgus asteroid belt. While the ship was on its way, the captain would listen to the history of the Borg narrated by Spock and try to get some kind of understanding of what was happening. Once thought to be an unstoppable force, the Borg would dealt a heavy blow by Catherine Janeway and the crew of the USS Voyager. But the Borg are nothing if not resilient. They retreated, waited, planned, and they adapted. These are not the nightmares of Wolf 359. They are faster, aggressive, relentless, remorseless. What the Borg cannot assimilate, they will destroy. So the Borg of Wolf 359 were remorseful? gave up easily, and didn't destroy what they couldn't assimilate? Wow, it sounds like the Borg of Wool 359 were much easier to handle. Thank God it wasn't that bad for the Federation at that time, unlike now. After going over the history recordings, Legend would drop out of warp and find the Tal Shiar vessel under heavy attack and needing assistance. This is Commander Talus of the Romulan Star Empire vessel, RNA. We are under attack by Borg scout squadrons. This is a formal request for assistance from any ship receiving this message. Do not abandon us. The USS Legend would respond and assist by engaging the Borg forces, defending the crippled ship. Detecting the Legend, the Borg would give their standard hail. You have compromised the integrity of the Collective. Prepare to be assimilated. Resistance is futile. With some apparent changes. Ship in range. This is the IRW RNA. My ship has been attacked and disabled by the Borg. My crew are being assimilated. The self destruct is offline. I have retreated with my surviving officers to the main science lab. If you can hear this, I formally request assistance. If there is no one who can respond to this message, then may we die with honor. With the initial forces of the Borg defeated, the Aaron Ye would send out a general distress. The ship disabled and quickly being assimilated, the captain would of course beam down to the ship with his bridge crew. Because when facing the Borg, whom can assimilate you and use your knowledge against your government, you want the captain and his bridge crew leading the away mission. Logical. The crew would arrive and find that the survivors had set up a last defense perimeter in the science bay. The away team would fight through the hordes of Borg, slowly making their way towards the ship's science area. The sight of the Borg would sometimes stun the entire away team, leaving only the captain to fight them. Alone. Hey guys, a, a little help here? A little a little help here? Like, this is like one of their elite, one of the best of the best. So, I, you know, if you could just like fire a weapon or like move out of the way, this would be much, much easier. Oh, f you all. Ultimately, they would arrive at the entrance of the science bay and find the Tal Shiar had indeed been doing research and attempting to reverse engineer the technologies of the Borg. But worse than that, the captain would find Romulan Republic citizens that the Tal Shiar had captured 
and been experimenting on. The crew of the legend would free the Republic citizens and then move into the science bay. The surviving Tal Shiar would have set up a beachhead and be under heavy attack. The away team would take positions next to the Romulan soldiers and fight off the incoming Borg. It would be sad as one of the captain's crew would suffer from PTSD and freeze up during the fight. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. The Starfleet Tal Shiar defense would be successful in defeating the Borg. The Tal Shiar soldiers would advise the captain that he would need to leave immediately. That even though they had saved them, the tech on the Romulan ship was classified. This would be tough. The captain would find himself in a awkward situation. Internal politics with the Romulans was touchy. Tal Shiar was no friend of the Romulan Republic, and Starfleet had already shown signs of siding with the Republic. Another conflict with the Romulans would be the last thing Starfleet needed, given the fronts with the Borg, the Klingons, and others. So the captain did the pragmatic thing and said screw it, scanning the equipment against the wishes of the commander and beaming back to the legend. The Tal Shiar vessel would request that the legend buy time so that it could escape. The captain debated his options. He could require the ship to transport over all of the Borg tech, but he decided that fighting both a crippled Romulan ship and a Borg armada would not end well. The captain opted to let the Tal Shiar leave, the Tal Shiar commander telling him that he made a friend that day. Ultimately, the legend would stand alone until a Romulan Republic ship would arrive and assist in defeating the Borg armada. But ultimately, it wouldn't be over for the crew of the legend. Stay tuned as the Federation finds out the Borg have found a way to put nanites in the very air that is breathed and assimilate entire worlds. The Alpha Quadrant was once again in great peril, and the legend would be there. Stay tuned, guys, and I'll see you on the next Lore Reloaded.